The M242 Bushmaster chain gun is a 25mm, 25x137mm, single-barrel chain-driven autocannon. It is used extensively by the US military, such as in the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, as well as by other NATO members and some other nations in ground combat vehicles and various watercraft. Hughes Helicopters in Culver City, California, was the original designer and manufacturer. As of 2019, Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems produces the gun. It is an externally powered, chain-driven, single-barrel weapon that may be fired in semi-automatic, burst, or automatic modes. It is fed by a metallic link belt and has dual feed capability. The term chain gun derives from the use of a roller chain that drives the bolt back and forth. The gun can destroy lightly armored vehicles and aerial targets, such as helicopters and slow-flying aircraft. It can also apply suppression fire against exposed troops, dug-in positions, and occupied built-up areas. The standard rate of fire is 200 rounds per minute. The weapon has an effective range of 2,000 meters 6, feet, depending on the type of ammunition used. With over 11,000 units sold worldwide, it is one of the most successful modern autocannons. Unlike most automatic firearms, the M242 does not depend on gas or recoil to actuate its firing system. Instead, it uses a 1 horsepower 0.75 kW DC motor, positioned in the receiver to drive the chain and dual feed system. This system uses sprockets and extractor grooves to feed, load, fire, extract, and eject rounds. A system of clutches provides for an alternate sprocket to engage and thus allows the gunner to switch between armor piercing and high explosive rounds. The weapon assembly consists of three parts, the barrel assembly, the feeder assembly, and the receiver assembly. The three-part structure makes it possible for a two-person team to install or remove the system, under ideal conditions, despite its considerable total weight. The M242 weapon system has both electrical and manual fire control and can be operated electrically or manually. The gunner can choose from three rates of fire. One dot single shot semi-automatic, in which the gunner can shoot as fast as the trigger can be operated, limited only by the electrical drive speed, it cannot exceed the high rate firing speed. Two dot low rate fully automatic, in which the weapon fires 100 rounds a minute, plus or minus 25 rounds, and three dot high rate fully automatic, in which the weapon fires 200 rounds a minute, plus or minus 25 rounds. The Bushmaster project started as an offshoot of the U.S. Army's MICV-65 program that was attempting to introduce a new infantry fighting vehicle to replace their existing M113 armored personnel carriers. Part of this program called for a new scout vehicle to replace the M114, a parallel development taking place under the XM-800 armored reconnaissance scout vehicle. Both the XM-800 and the cavalry version of the XM-701 MICV vehicles were armed with the M139 a US-built version of the Hispano Suiza HS.8 2020mm autocannon. During the testing phase, the Army eventually rejected the XM701 and started work on a newer design known as the XM723. Soon after the XM800 was also rejected. This led to the combination of the two programs, moving the scout role to the cavalry version of the XM723. At the same time, the M139 proved to be disappointing and a contract for a new weapon to replace it started as a competitive development in 1972 simultaneously at Ford Aeroneutronic Division with the PFB-25, self-powered weapon, and Hughes Helicopters Ordnance Division, externally powered, under the Suma Corporation as the Vehicle Rapid Fire Weapons System Successor, or VRFWSS. This was essentially a power-driven gun firing similar 20mm ammunition as the HS.820, the power-driven mechanism would ensure operation even in the case of a misfire. Progress on the VRFWSS was slow, and eventually resulted in a switch to a much more powerful 25mm round. Similar delays in the MICV program meant the ultimate vehicles descending from their efforts, the M2-M3 Bradley fighting vehicle, did not enter production until 1981, by which point the Bushmaster had matured. Since 1990, there have been several enhancements made upon the weapon, resulting in the enhanced 25mm gun. To date, more than 10,500 weapons are in service.
One of the major reasons for this popularity is the extremely reliable nature of the weapon. It has a rating of 22,000 mean rounds between failure, MRBF, much higher than many comparable devices. A wide range of ammunition has been developed for this weapon, providing it with the capability to defeat the majority of armored vehicles it is likely to encounter, up to and including some light tanks. The ammunition used in the M242 may also be used in a variety of weapons such as the GAU-12 Equalizer, the French Giant M811, or the Swiss Erlikon KBA weapon system. It has the capability to fire US manufactured ammunition as well as the NATO equivalents thereof. Primarily though, it fires six types of rounds, the M791, M792, M793, M910, 210 Malawian quaches, and M919. M791 Armor Piercing Discarding Sabo with Tracer The APDST penetrates lightly armored vehicles, self-propelled artillery, and aerial targets such as helicopters and various slow-moving, fixed-wing aircraft. M792 High Explosive Incendiary with Tracer and Self-Destruct the HEIT can destroy unarmored vehicles and helicopters and suppress anti-tank missile positions and enemy squads out to a maximum effective range of 2,200 meters. M793 Target Practice with Tracer The TPT cartridge is a fixed-type, percussion prime training round that matches the high-explosive incendiary with Tracer, HEIT M792, round ballistically. The TPTS Tracer is visible out to 2,000 meters, however, the round has a maximum effective range, accuracy limited, of 1,600 meters. M910 Target Practice Discarding Sabo with Tracer The TPDST replicates the flight pattern of the M791 Armor Piercing Discarding Sabo with Tracer APDST, round. The TPDST allows units to realistically practice Sabo engagements. 210 Malawian Quaches High Explosive Incendiary with Tracer Used by the U.S. Navy in their MK-38 Naval Weapon System. M919 Armor Piercing, Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabo with Tracer. The APFSDST round penetrates light armored vehicles, self-propelled artillery, and aerial targets, which includes helicopters and slow-moving fixed-wing aircraft. The dart is made of depleted uranium. The wide usage results in several variations and modifications on the standard M242 weapon system. 1. Ground Vehicles The M242 is standard equipment on the U.S. Army M2 and M3 Bradley fighting vehicles, it is also in use on the L-8025. Before the project was cancelled, the MK-44 Bushmaster 230mm chain gun, a successor to the M242, was used on the Marine Corps' Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle EFV. The M242 is also a popular choice of primary armament for armored fighting vehicles manufactured around the world, such as Singapore's Bionics AFVs and as the Rafael Overhead Weapon Station 25 mounted on upgraded M113A2 Ultra IFVs. 2. Enhanced 25mm Gun Work on an upgraded weapon began in 1990. In the upgrade program, all three major systems and seven minor systems were improved. The modifications began with introducing a chrome-lined barrel, an enhanced feeder, and an enhanced receiver. The weapon systems also received minor upgrades such as quick detachable link covers, a larger breech assembly, a high-efficiency muzzle brake, longer recoil, an integral round counter, an extended life-firing pin and spring, and a triple spring drive clutch. Upgraded weapons were first put to use on the M2A3 Bradley, the fourth version of the M2 Bradley fighting vehicle. 3. Naval in 1977, the U.S. and Navy realized that it needed a replacement for the Ehrlichon 20mm MK-16 series of guns. In 1986, this requirement was satisfied with the introduction of the MK-38 Mod Zero weapon system. A derivative of the M242 system, the MK-38 consists of the M242 chain gun and the MK-88 Mod Zero machine gun mount. It provides ships with defensive and offensive gunfire capability for the engagement of a variety of surface targets. Designed primarily as a close-range defensive measure, it provides protection against patrol boats, floating mines, and various shore-based targets. <laughs>